I know I probably shouldn't be making this video because it is a very sensitive subject. Heck, I'm posting it on both my voice acting channel and my main channel. But yeah, I feel like it's a very good thing to, uh, you know, express my mind. Uh, the reason why I am not voting for Kamala is because if she uh, becomes president, our First Amendment is doomed. All right, L let me tell you. So, so first of all, Tim Waltz says the First Amendment doesn't apply to hate speech or misinformation. While that might sound good on paper, their definition of both things is completely different than how I see it. Their definition of racism is not, is not Jim Crow. Oh, is not burning the cross in order to protest the lives of black people. Is not telling, telling Rosa Parks to get in the back of the bus or having separate bathrooms just for black people. Their definition of misinformation is not lying about someone's career just so you could, who could, you know, ruin someone's life because you hate them so much. Their definition of uh, hate speech is people like me saying there's only two genders. Or, or me saying I don't like race bending characters. Or me saying you shouldn't hire people because they're minorities. Or or me saying uh, don't discriminate people because they're white. I don't want to have this whole subject of gay, 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 gay shoved in my face. Uh, their definition of uh, misinformation is, yeah, the COVID days are ridiculous, man. But, but yeah, it's been proven that... A lot of the ways we handled we handled COVID was the worst, and yet they still had the balls to uh, make make everything such a fascist totalitarian dictatorship during that time. Even Dr. Fauci, go go back to June of this year. All right, even Dr. Fauci admitted, yeah, maybe shutting down schools wasn't the best idea. Maybe shutting down places wasn't the best idea. I mean, the dude's a puppy murderer. Who's who's not going to take him seriously? But uh. But, uh, yeah, uh, pretty much a lot of what was going on at the time was very fishy. You know, th their definition of misinformation uh, is the entire movie of Sound of Freedom, all right? I've literally seen people say it's misinformation, even though we know that shit's happening. It's been proven that ch human trafficking is happening. Uh, their definition of hate speech is people who are against using people who are not straight, white, or male like I am as a human shield. And their definition of misinformation is stuff that they could not use as a narrative. So yeah, I, so yeah, I am not voting for Kamala. I am very scared of her right now. Uh, if she wins, I will definitely use all my hard-earned money, even though she might steal it for the most part, because that's what Biden did. Uh, uh, I can move somewhere in Africa. I can move somewhere in Europe. But yeah, I am very terrified of this woman, all right? All right, so yeah, you know, not only is our First Amendment doomed, but our democracy is doomed. Democracy does not only apply to one political party. Democracy applies to both of us. Us. If I think a Democratic nominee is good, I'm going to vote for him or her. Her. And whatever however the popular opinion is, his, that person wins. That is democracy. Democracy is not one-sided. Because trust me, I am going to lose respect for so many people if Kamala does what I fear she does. Part of me doesn't think she will, but she literally said she wants to regulate Twitter the same way she regulated Facebook. And Mark Zuckerberg has finally woken up to the fact that all that, that censoring was wrong. All right. So please... Think of what's best for your country, my fellow Americans, and talk to you later.